Another Mid-State Rite Aid is closing. Business analysts believe the company, formerly based in the Mid-State, now in Philadelphia, is close to filing for bankruptcy. Seth Kaplan joins us tonight. Seth. Felicia, these signs are coming down at the former Rite Aid in Camp Hill. Is that a sign of things to come elsewhere? Well, we have learned the latest place where we'll soon see another scene like this. Rite Aid is a great store. Victoria Greenberg talking about this store along Wurtsville Road in Silver Spring Township, Northern Cumberland County. The store will close September 26. Everybody's very knowledgeable from the pharmacists to the uh, cashiers. I'm sorry to see that they've decided to close it. It'll definitely make it a little more inconvenient, especially the people coming from Perry County that have to come, you know, all the way to the Pike now to get their, you know, their their stuff. Something more folks could face. I was very surprised to hear that. If Rite Aid files for bankruptcy and pulls its signs off hundreds more stores, as analysts widely believe, Rite Aid stock is trading near all-time lows because of that belief. The company says it doesn't, quote, comment on rumors or speculation. As for potential store closures, probably the places that will get hit the most will, will be those markets where there's a minimal presence, uh, because usually that means that they don't have as much customer loyalty there. That would include places like Cleveland, where Rite Aid is a distant third behind CVS and Walgreens, according to this exclusive analysis by Placer.ai for ABC 27 News of store visits by consumers. Same goes for Detroit and New York City. At the other end of the spectrum, Rite Aid is number one in Pittsburgh and Buffalo and a solid number two in northeastern Pennsylvania and central Pennsylvania. Markets where Brown says you can bet Rite Aid will remain, even if you can also bet it'll close some stores. How will it decide which ones to close? The big one really comes down first and foremost to store performance. Uh, does this store do the numbers we want? That means how much it sells, but also how much it spends. In other words, what do they pay for rent? Now, CBS and Walgreens are closing hundreds of stores across America, too. They face many of the same pressures as Rite Aid online retailers like Amazon hurting their non-prescription sales. And they're shelling out billions of dollars in opioid lawsuit related settlements. And I'll say the difference is Rite Aid went into all this, Dennis, in a weaker spot than its larger competitors. Seth, thanks so much.